Hi, this is Darren from Property Prosperity. Today I thought I'd take you out on site and give you a bit of an example of what a damp proof membrane is. So here you can see a little bit closer up uh, what the what the damp proof membrane looks like and basically it's it's a really thick plastic um, but what it does is actually stops the water coming through to the the footings of the house and obviously stops moisture coming up into your house obviously if you've got carpets or anything like that you don't really want moisture coming up through into there so um, there's a few requirements in the building code that um, you have to make sure if you're putting a damp proof membrane in that it's uh, covering certain requirements it has to be about 0.2 millimeter well actually not exactly 0.2 millimeters thick uh, and actually they're going to mention it on the the damp proof membrane itself so you can actually see actually see it has to be branded by the company and it, and it has to mention the standard which it co is covered by AS2870 and it's meant to mention that it's high impact material and it has to also to mention the thickness and who it's distributed by. So you can see there it says 0.2 millimeter thickness so we know that one is um, okay. So you can see here an example of where the they also call it a vapor barrier but also um, but we refer to it as a damp proof membrane or DPM. You can see how it sits here in the in this example here. You can see it goes underneath the foundations or underneath on top of the dirt, and then the slab then is poured on, on top of that, and the concrete footings are poured on top of that. So you can see that's going to protect it all the way along. And as it, as it shows there, it's got to go right to the to the ground. It's actually got to um, come outside of there to make sure there's going to be no dirt, uh, no possibility of moisture getting into the footings. And a final requirement of the damp proof membrane is that um, that any penetrations which are where all your pipes are coming through from um, services actually make, have to make sure it's all taped up and sealed so there's going to be no water or no moisture coming through into those penetrations so you can see in this this one here that it's all taped up so that means that um, they've done it as as per as required the other thing any joins between the, the sheets of plastic they have to have about a 200 millimeter overlap and then it obviously has to be all taped so here's an example here you can see there's definitely more than 200 millimeter overlap there and they've taped it all up to make sure there's going to be no moisture coming in through there as well so thanks for watching and i hope you've learned a little bit more about damp proof membrane and uh, i look forward to joining you again next time